my lovely, lovely imps. Something strange is going on in Texas. Some of you may have heard uh, that Governor Greg Abbott, uh, who is a total piece of shit in my opinion, and uh, I don't really care. Some people might say, oh, that's a great way to start your segment, real impartial. I don't actually care about uh, quote unquote impartiality with Greg Abbott. Uh, Greg Abbott is a deranged uh, uh, psycho uh, who thinks that he can uh, stuff his nose into the private lives of people, who thinks that he can tell his um, tell his loyal members of his Department of Human Services that they can ignore the uh, uh, ignore the courts of his own state and the courts of the nation uh, in order to persecute trans people more. And he is a disgusting and vile uh, racist, in my opinion. Um, and Governor Greg Abbott, uh, you may have heard, has been uh, on, let's just say, he's had a history of disagreement um, with basically everyone who tells him he can't do whatever he wants, but specifically with the Joe Biden administration. Uh, there has been an ongoing uh, disagreement over his handling of the so-called border crisis um, and uh, how strange, deranged, aggressive, and downright inhumane uh, he and his, um, and his loyalists um, have been behaving and the, 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 what they have been uh, essentially engaging in. And of course, some of, have, some of us have seen the previous uh, flare-ups of this, um, uh, whether it's the, uh, uh, the, the proposed usage of, um, uh, literal, uh, v like, bladed traps that are designed to trap migrants, um, uh, you know, uh, in the water, basically, like, I don't know if you guys saw this, but there was a proposed use of buoys that have, uh, moving saw blades on the bottom so that uh, if, you, if you're swimming across the water and you attempt to hold on to the buoy, you know, to rest, you will get cut up by the saw blades on the bottom. Which, if that sounds like something that only a evil medieval king from a cartoon would come up with, unfortunately, no, it's actually something that um, was uh, uh, proposed and, uh, and, and considered by people like Governor Greg Abbott and his evil cronies. Uh, but now, uh, Greg Abbott is, uh, has decided that he has the sort of universal right to uh, override even the federal government. And we're going to read uh, his, his statement uh, in which he essentially declares uh, that Texas is going to be going their own way um, like a, like a, t like a tug tow, you know, like a mig tow, but Texas, Texans going their own way. And they're going to defy the direct orders, uh, of the federal government in a pretty, um, outstanding and brazen way. And it's kind of, um, it's kind of strange to know exactly where this will go. And it's also, um, very telling of the current state of affairs in the United States, which is basically that um, the standard rule of law has completely and utterly dissolved in the United States, if it ever existed in the first place. And I do believe that there's a good argument to be made that the, the, the sort of, the, the law of the state is illusory at best. Um, you know, that, that basically, the state grants itself the right to make the rules and it also allows itself to break the rules whenever it wants because who else is going to tell them otherwise, you know, right? Like, and that's patently true. For example, uh, think about things like the, um, uh, like the Patriot Act. The Patriot Act, uh, you, you have the right to privacy except when the government decides you no longer have the right to privacy when it's convenient for them. You see what I mean? There's a problem here. But of course, this is accelerated to a drastic degree where, um, you know, the, the sort of assurances from liberals all over the country that the rule of law will always be victorious. Just trust the process. 
you got to do everything according to the electoral process. Well, this incident with Greg Abbott kind of just throws a giant wrench into all of that, doesn't it? Let's take a look at his statement, okay? Governor Greg Abbott, January 24, 2024. That's today if you're watching this live and probably a different day if you're watching this as a video. The federal government has broken the compact between the United States and the states. The executive branch of the United States has a constitutional duty to enforce federal laws protecting states, including immigration laws on the books right now. President Biden has refused to enforce those laws and has even violated them. The result is that he has smashed records for illegal immigration. Now, just a real quick, uh, you know, b b b just a real quick fact check, real quick fact check. That's a, a load of bullshit, obviously. Um, the idea that jo that President Biden has not enforced immigration laws is patently absurd. In fact, um, Joe Biden has been a fairly um, anti-immigrant president as far as Democrats go. Um, I mean, he even like I mean, he even caught flack for. Um, continuing the work on a pro on a wall building project that was started by Donald Trump. He was criticized by Democrats for doing that. So yeah, this is kind of just a giant load of hooey. It's a bunch of nonsense. Despite having been put on notice in a series of letters, one of which I delivered to him by hand, hilarious by the way i sent you a strongly worded email good sir literally this reminds me of um sovereign citizen shit you know you know the like sovereign citizen guys the guys who will drive drunk and then when they get pulled over they pull out a pocket of the constitution and then they say to the cop they're like this thing right here says you can't do shit against me i have a constitutional right um and and my right is given to me by the constitution and i i don't have to follow any of your fucking laws because the constitution says that i can be a fucking citizen you know those guys those kind of guys this is exactly what he's doing he's being like i gave you these strongly worded letters anyway president biden has ignored texas's demand that he perform his constitutional duties or wait, I guess that wouldn't be a sovereign citizen. I guess that would be like a, a constitutional uh, extremist, right? Because the the sovereign citizens are like, I didn't sign, the, I didn't agree to the constitution. Whatever. Doesn't really matter. You got the picture. Doesn't really. Who cares? Don't fucking b bazinga, b bazinga me. President Biden has violated his oath to faithfully execute immigration laws enacted by Congress. Blatantly not true. Instead of prosecuting immigrants for the federal crime of illegal entry, President Biden has sent his lawyers into federal courts to sue Texas for taking action to secure the border. What's actually happened is that the federal government has said, oh my God, you guys are being psychos and you are creating a humanitarian crisis within the borders of our nation and we don't support you doing that. You should follow the rule of law. And of course, Texas goes, uh-uh, we should be able to kill whoever we want. As long as they don't look like us and, or agree with us politically or maybe if they have a different gender. President Biden has instructed his agencies to ignore federal statutes that mandate the detention of illegal immigrants. The effect is to illegally allow their en masse parole into the United States. Again, load of bullshit, okay? Uh, he, basically, he's trying to claim, this is like, Governor Greg Abbott is not a, a judge. He isn't actually able to make these calls very well anyway. And the reality is that there are likely, uh, uh, there are likely significantly different paths that can be taken. He's just mad that his path isn't being approved of. He's just mad that he isn't allowed to kill people on sight or torture them or chop them up with fucking saw trap buoys. By wasting t taxpayer dollars to tear open Texas's border security infrastructure, citation needed, President Biden has enticed illegal immigrants away from the 28 legal entry points along this state's southern border, bridges where nobody drowns, and into the dangerous waters of the Rio Grande. What he's saying here, um, when he's saying that they're tearing open Texas's border infrastructure, he's saying that the pre President Biden didn't let him put up the saw buoys. 
And so he's saying that not allowing people to put up the saw buoys is inviting them to swim across the Rio Grande. Under President Biden's lawless border politics, more than 6 million illegal immigrants have crossed our southern border in just, six, in just three years. That is more than the population of 33 different states in this country. Massive citation needed. It massive. My sources that I made it the fuck up. Moment. This illegal refusal to protect the states has inflicted unprecedented harm on the people all across the United States. James Madison, Alexander Hamilton, and other visionaries who wrote the U.S. Constitution foresaw that states should not be left to the mercy of a lawless president who does nothing to stop external threats like cartels smuggling millions of illegal immigrants across the border. That's why the framers included both Article 4, Subsection 4, which promises that the federal government shall protect each state against invasion. This guy is literally trying to make the argument that random people trying to cross the border is an invasion. Now, obviously, any rational and thinking person would acknowledge that the Constitution is referring to a military invasion. But it's very interesting. It's, it's, it's an incredible uh, display of, uh, of that sort of fascist doublethink. You know, where the enemy must both simultaneously be weak and strong. The enemy is weak enough that they will drown in rivers if, if you uh, don't install, um, you know, uh, ant like, like traps that are more cruel than what would be used on wild animals. But they're so strong as to be considered an invasion. Quite, quite a, a perfect example of that fascist doublethink. That's why, oh yeah, here we go. And Article 1, Subsection 10, Clause 3, which acknowledges the state's sovereign interest in protecting their borders from invasion, which is not what's happening. Migrants and, and illegal immigration is not a fucking invasion. This is just, it's just so blatant how insane you'd have to be to even think this guy has a, has a point. The failure of the Biden administration to fulfill the duties imposed by Article 4, Subsection 4 has trickled triggered Article 1, Subsection 10, Clause 3, which reserves to this state the right of self-defense. For these reasons, I have already declared an invasion under Article 1, Subsection 10, Clause 3 to invoke Texans' co constitutional authority to defend and protect itself. That authority is the supreme law of the land and supersedes any federal statutes to the contrary. The Texas National Guard, the Texas Department of Public Safety, and other Texas perso personnel are currently are, uh, acting on that authority as well as state law to secure the Texas border. Signed, Greg Abbott. So what he is saying is that he is directly ignoring a uh, uh, federal mandate. He is directly ignoring federal law. He is ignoring federal judges. He is ignoring basically everything in order to falsely claim and declare that an invasion is happening in Texas. And f following from that, he is taking uh, executive control of the Texas National Guard, the Texas Department of Public Safety, and... Uh, and basically any Texas-related state power to personally wield them against an invasion of illegal immigrants. Absolutely psychotic behavior. And an incredible uh, attempt at uh, Republican uh, uh, ro rogue statism. Uh, basically, what gov this, this, is a, this is a functional uh, declaration of uh, of pseudo secession. He's basically saying that Texas has been abandoned by the federal government and so we're taking the law completely into our own hands. It's a it's a wild, it's a a wild wild ploy. And I wonder how it's going to play out for Greg Abbott. Because um I don't know. I don't know when the last time we saw a state do anything like this before. We've certainly seen states like not agree with federal rulings. We've certainly seen states uh, choose different paths versus federal recommendations. But I don't know when the last time we saw a state just assume uh, total control of their National Guard to wield against the United States federal government and 
in the name of persecuting migrants to a harsher degree. It's pretty wild. And uh, it, it's a uh, it's it's a little a little spooky in certain ways. Certainly for the people of Texas, I'm not obviously. If you don't live in Texas, it's not all that, not amazingly scary in and of itself. But if you live in Texas, that's a weird state of affairs to be in when you have a psychopath like Greg, like Governor Greg Abbott, who basically is saying, "Well, I am now the supreme authority, and I can use." The, uh, the, 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 all of the forces of the state, including the National Guard, to do basically whatever I want because I've declared that we are being invaded. Um, it's, it's a soft version of declaring martial law. Very strange. Very, very weird. And of course, everybody has, uh, seen the, uh, the sort of videos, uh, going around of him, uh, of him ordering his, uh, his state national guard to spend all their time rolling out giant bales of razor wire, which is uh, a, always a good sign. You know you're in a very good state of affairs when uh, you've got when you call in the extra help from the national guard to set up more razor wire. Uh, always a great sign. Um, it's not good. And of course, if you combine this with his previous deranged behavior, um, like his defying uh, federal judges and going under the table to allow uh, his his, the, the Texas State Department of Human Services to persecute trans families conveniently only uh, while the organization itself was complying to federal law, he personally was urging them to use their personal cellular devices in order to avoid getting caught uh, so that they could persecute trans fam families with trans people in them. Um, it's a bad sign, and it's a bad sign for the direction that the Republican Party and the adherents of the Republican Party are going. I don't know how it's going to play out for Greg Abbott. I have the feeling that the federal government is not going to play particularly nice with this, uh, with this ploy. But then again, also, Joe Biden hasn't exactly been the most... Um, you know, for he's not exactly been a, a amazingly progressive when it comes to immigration. He's been uh, he's been fairly uh, anti-immigration, um, which means you know who knows maybe he won't take this all that seriously. But uh, it does seem uh, pretty shocking uh, to have a state uh, do this uh, to, to to particularly to do it in the way that they're doing it. Uh, declaring an invasion and taking full control of the Texas National Guard uh, in order to combat an invasion, an invasion that is not recognized by literally anyone else in the world, because obviously no one else in the world is saying, you know, no one else will say Texas is being invaded. That's a Texas thing. Um, they're, they're trying to claim that they're being invaded uh, and everyone else is going, dude, please stop. Like, you know, if you weren't acting this crazy, maybe we could have a discussion. Um, but to me, what it sounds like is a ridiculous power play. Um, Greg Abbott wants to be a little dictator, and he's doing that. He's doing that by taking advantage of war powers, by taking advantage of a little concept called the state of exception. And uh, yeah, it's pretty bad. Interesting how quickly the law just doesn't matter anymore when it disagrees with the whim of a particularly powerful individual. Um, yeah. Killjoy, uh, Killjoy 40K says, the U.S. borders are federal jurisdiction that is delegated down to the state, but the Fed has, over, has uh, oversight, and he's going to get clapped, in my opinion. Yeah, I think there's a good chance that he's going to get clapped from this, but I wonder to what degree. Uh, are they going to clap him in irons? That would be amazing to see. I, I'm not going to lie. I would absolutely, I would think it's very funny uh, if Greg Abbott ended up in prison because of this. I doubt that's what's going to happen, but who knows? Uh, he's a pretty desperate guy right now, and he seems like he's really gunning for power. I didn't have, uh, I didn't have Texas uh, declaring a soft secession on my 2024 bingo card. Um but I probably should have, uh, uh, to be honest. I've talked about for a long time on this channel that I believe that we are in a very strange state uh, of affairs in the United States, that we are in the process of an American balkanization. 
that um, uh, America as a country, as we understood it, is breaking up into um, irreconcilably different regions. Um, red states and blue states are spinning so far out of, uh, out of, you know, uh, I don't even know what the right word is, so far out of comparison as far as laws are concerned, that from state to state, you have a completely different um, expectation of basic civil and human rights. And that's especially true now when you have Texas saying, yeah, actually, no, we're being invaded, bro, uh, totally. If you come in here, we have the right to use the military to interrogate you for your papers. Um, crazy, genuinely crazy. This is interesting. Governor Greg Abbott is using the Texas National Guard to obstruct and create chaos at the border. If Abbott is defying yesterday's Supreme Court ruling, the President of the United States need, needs to establish sole federal control of the Texas National Guard now. Oh yeah, here's the pictures he's been posting, okay? He's been posting these pic these military pictures of, uh, of Texas National Guard guys just standing around next to giant messes of razor wire. actually incredibly fun ter terrifying but also incredibly funny this is just a hell of an image isn't it like this right here is like this is the most texas image i can imagine they're like we're keeping ourselves safe and it's two guys standing on a rusty barrel pointing randomly and then an unimaginable fucking tangle of razor wire Just horrible. A actually embarrassing. And embarrassing to even live in a country that remotely associates itself with this. Although I should know better, you know? Sucks to, being, being an American is a exercise in, uh, in learning to recognize, is, is not investing in your American identity at all. In fact, I think you're an idiot if you invest in American identity in any way. Um, like, especially at this point, there is no American identity except for embarrassment. That's the only thing. Just genuinely terrible. Anyway, we have to see how this is going to unfold. It's hard to know exactly how this is going to unfold, but uh, it does speak to the state of the, the mental state of Republicans in America. Uh, increasingly, Amer uh, American Republicans are... Um, deranged they're completely deranged they have secessionist fantasies they have uh militia fantasies they they want to pretend that uh joe biden is like personally uh, uh clamping a vice onto their testicles every single day and it's just not based in reality at all uh more and more the republican party just seems to be spinning off into its own completely deranged reality and this is what it looks like by the way this is what you can expect from the GOP. This is their idea of ideal. He's celebrating this. This In this image right here, he's like, the Texas National Guard continues to hold the line in Eagle Pass. Texas will not back down from our efforts to secure the border in Biden's absence. Yeah, it totally looks like an invasion, dude. Oh man, there's not even anybody visible. Wow, it's, it's amazing. Where, where's all the tanks? Where's the planes? Where's the guys with guns, my man? Incredible. Actually incredible. <sighs> all right, everybody. That's all I have to say about the psychopath Greg Abbott uh, doing a mini secession so that he can be a little dictator, uh, the king, so that he can be the king of Razor Wire Mountain. But if you're a, a human being with any um, soul remaining, if you don't like sleeping in a pile of Razor Wire, if you don't like, like this fake... De delusional rah rah bullshit over an invasion that isn't happening you should consider opposing the republicans with every single ounce of your being uh the republicans are genuinely insane the state of the republican party is insane uh there is no uh reasoning with people like this and people that support like this and this is more and more characteristic of the republican party um uh, anyway uh fuck these people and uh, if you enjoyed this little segment talking about Greg Abbott, make sure that you press subscribe down below because I talk about all kinds of cool stuff. And you could see it if you become a subscriber today. Smack that subscribe button. Thank you very much.
keep listening.